Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part three of Tableau scenario based question for product based company. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's move to the question. So the first question is how to find number of working days in a month. So this question is very important from the point of view of Tableau as well as from the SQL. Okay, now let's discuss in the Tableau. Okay, first let's create a calculated field and rename it number of days, working days. Okay, now let's write our logic. So I'm using date part here. Okay, and as a date part we'll use our weekday and our date field okay and is greater than one i'll explain the logic let me write this first okay so this is the logic that we will use to find out the number of working days in a month. So we have used date part and we have entered the date part as weekday and from order date. So what this calculation will do is it will find out the weekdays from the order date. Okay. And why we have used greater than one because our week start with the Sunday and the, and Sunday is our first day. So we don't want to include the Sunday. So that's why we have used greater than one and same here as well saturday is our last day means seventh day and we don't want to include saturday as well so that's why we have used less than seven okay so we will we will include only two three four five and six means tuesday wednesday thursday friday okay sorry monday as well and then it will give us total number of days from order date okay this is the calculation for that now let's drag order date okay and do it from here let's remove this and drag our field now by default it is giving some but we don't want some so go here and go with our distinct value okay so if you look at this we are getting 15 14 16 18 and we should get around 22 23 or 4 working days in a month okay so why it is this is because some of the days are not available in our order date field so how we can check it out so we can go here and show missing value okay go here if you look at this in the jan month we don't have the entries for 8 17 and 22 24 25 and 20 this is not present in our database that's why it is not included in our calculation okay that's why it is showing the data only for those dates which are present in our database okay so this is how you can find number of working days in a month okay but there is a catch there is a one more point here let's say every company has around 10 to 15 public holidays as well okay public holiday or maybe some special holiday for every company so how we can exclude them as well okay so there are two ways to do that first one is like we can use our calculation and second one is we can create a excel or maybe add a field in our database and then we can use it in a calculation okay so here i'm adding one more condition here and order date is not equal to we'll use our function that is make date make date is used to create a date in our tableau okay so what make date will do is let's say i want to exclude the public holiday for 2019 15th august that is our independence day okay 08 and then 15 okay so if you look at this we have 17 working days in august 2019 if I click on apply, you can see the number has changed to 16, means we have ex excluded this as well. Okay, and similar kind of if you want to exclude multiple, so you can do that 
but that that would be like uh, good if you want to just include one or two or three that would be good for that let's say if you have 10 to 15 public holidays then you should create an excel and or maybe add a field in our database and then we can instead of this we can just refer this field okay you can just remove that and add the field here and it will work similar kind of and it will remove all the public holidays that is available in the view okay so this is how you can solve this question now let's move to the question two second question is how to highlight the part of the bars which exceeds the average reference lines okay so for this let's take subcategory and take sales also add average line as well okay so if you look at this there are some subcategories which are exceeding the average reference line if you look at the accessories binders chairs and copiers and others as well okay so what this question wants is we want to highlight the parts of the bar which exceeds the average line means this part with a different color and this part with a different color and same for this 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 and this and all the bars which are not exceeding the average line should be with with matching with these colors only okay so how we can do that for this we can create a calculated field and use our logic if sum of sales means total sales is greater than window average of sum of sales so what this calculation will do is it will give you the logic like if our total sales is greater than window what window average will do is it will calculate the total average within this window okay is greater than which is which is obvious it is great because we here we are taking the total number of sales so this condition is satisfied okay and then it should give us window average of sum of sales else null and end our calculation so i'm giving it name window average okay and click on okay now drag this field into the color okay and change this field into discrete so that we can assign the different color for the bars which are exceeding the average line okay now drag it here as well and just go with dual axis okay now let's change it to bar and change it to bar as well okay now if, if you look at this we are having a different value because of the we have not synchronized the axis now if you look at this we have added the color for the part of the bar which exceeds the average line okay now for this we have to set the colors now just go to color go to edit okay now i want to assign this uh you can say this color this color and for this also i will assign this color okay and now click on it now you can see we have used our beautiful trick to highlight the parts of the bar which exceeds the average line okay you can modify it let's say i don't want to show its header i don't want to show this indicator as well so this is how you can highlight the part of the bar which exceeds the average line that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming parts